Hold on to your credit card. The global semiconductor shortage could make it more challenging to get a replacement as more cards include chips and industries like auto and tech compete for tight supply. Credit cards are further down the list and furthermore, smaller credit card issuers are even further down the list. So that's where we're hearing about the longest delays, credit unions and community banks. The semiconductor shortage that started in 2020 has been exacerbated by increased demand and Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which reduced the country's output of neon, a key element in making chips. We're facing a shortage of neon, which means that the manufacturing of chips is far more difficult. Than Last summer, the Smart Payment Association, a global industry group for cards and mobile payments, warned of a continued impact throughout 2023. And in recent weeks and months, some credit unions and smaller banks have advised consumers the standard time to replace a card has stretched. Ted Rossman of Bankrate says this could be a time for consumers to take advantage of more contactless options implemented more widely during the pandemic. The pandemic did really juice adoption of things like Apple Pay and Google Pay They've been around for almost a decade, but a lot of people became more comfortable transacting that way when they were afraid to touch physical payment terminals. A smartphone's mobile wallet also allows a consumer to keep a card at home for safekeeping amid the current crunch. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa.